Well, hello, and welcome to the first ever episode of 1600 Games. Uh, we have the Game On Classic Retro Gaming Console, fitted out with 1660 ROMs, and I have a randomly generated number sequence with the 1600 games. Each episode I'm going to go uh, look at one to three games, depending on what I feel like. Okay, so I'm going to talk about stuff and games and reviews and keep it under 10 minutes if possible. Alright, our first game is Argus. This was produced by Gottlieb, never made it to Australia. Uh, Gottlieb might be familiar to some people, it's a company that made lots of pinball games. Uh, this is their foray into the digital arts. Alright, so I'm going to pay for a go of Argus. So as I said, this game never made it to Australia. So I never had an opportunity to play it in the arcades when I was beginning my hopeless addiction. This is uh, 1984. Graphics are indicative of that time. You got up, down, left, right. It's an eight way shooter. Static screen. You can see the alien making off with a person. You got to shoot the aliens and you got to rescue the people. The aliens don't actually hurt you, the superhero, in yellow and red. They just try and make off with the humans or destroy, you'll see them occasionally destroy the buildings a little bit. Still cars to squash the humans. So one button is shoot, the other button is grab things and lower them to the ground. Okay, every now and again the scene will change. Look, um, I probably would have enjoyed this game when it came out because it's just different, it's interesting. You got lots of moving parts to it. Um, it gets faster, it gets harder, so there's that, that mastery. Ooh. Rescue the humans. So you can see they're, they're like uh, destroying stuff um, from buildings and then making it fall onto the humans. Got to keep the humans alive. Let's finish this round. What are you doing, you pest of a thing? Ooh. So all kinds of things will land on the ground and try and kill your humans. The detritus, the things they lift up and, and put down. When this game came out, it had a trackball. Apparently people didn't like the trackball. Oh, I just killed a human. Oh dear. My negligence killed a human. Good gracious. Uh, so people didn't like the trackball. Uh, they didn't like the joystick. They didn't like the name. Um, not everyone. There is an account that I read online of somebody really enjoying this game, but yeah, never really got picked up. Anyway, that's Argus. It gets faster. Um, there's less humans to keep alive, uh, and I think you've seen enough. That'll do. Yeah, I would have played it. It's a good game. Uh, again, for 1984. So that's weird because uh, that one is a pinball game company making a video game. And I only, um, I just thought this was odd, because we're now going to go to a video game company that made a pinball game. Now we're going to 1480 Time Scanner. Sounds impressive. And then you start playing it. You notice I'm not paying for this one. I would not have paid for this. When I went out, I had to leave the house to play video games. I take my hot little hard earned or stolen or, you know, found money and I'd shop around for games that I would want to part with money for. I wouldn't have paid money for this one. Look at it. It's a pinball. I could have paid pinball. Could have played actual pinball. Better handling. More fun. Um, and they wouldn't have reversed the flippers. Yeah, that's right. You actually have the flippers reversed on the buttons. How crap is that? This game actually came out on the ZX Spectrum, which was for several years the home computer in our household. Uh, my father being an early adopter. And I never played it on the ZX Spectrum. Wouldn't have paid money for that either. But yeah, this is it. Up, down, left, uh, sorry, two flippers. And you can tilt the game. I'm not spending much time on this. I would only have played this in the arcades if I found a free credit. Which sometimes happened. I'd always scour. Somebody had 
run out of time to play or they'd put their money into this game and then realize how crap it was. You know, so anyway, um, if I was to give this stars, I'd give it half a star. Somebody worked on this. Some people liked it. Just not for me. Let's move on. So that was Time Scanners. Crap. Oh, all right. Sorry if you liked Time Scanners. I've just ribbed on your most beloved piece of crap game. 1330. Last game of the day is actually one I did play. And it's a pretty good game. For its time. For its time. Its time was 1980... No, it wasn't. 1992. All right. This is Super Macross Space Fortress. Something along those lines. This is a great shooter. In my opinion. My opinion is not shared. All right. We've got power-ups. We've got different weapons. We've got what I think is some decent graphics for its time. Not the best. The biggest criticism I found online for this game was it didn't do anything new. The graphics weren't cutting edge. The play style wasn't cutting edge. Some people even had the criticism that it was too easy, almost like an entry level shooter, um, when people were doing more interesting things around that time. But I thought it was a great time sink. Very smooth. Um, the weaponry is fun. Uh, you can use it strategically. You got bombers. Let's use a bomber. Boom. Yeah. Uh, they don't gank you so much in this in this uh, shooter. Like uh, there's less of that things coming up your rear. Oh, sorry. Auto shoot. Let's do auto shoot. So I'm not clacking away the whole time. Yeah, so I, I probably would have played this a fair bit. I have vague memories of this one, uh, of actually going out of my way to play it. And it's a fun shooter. Yeah, there's seven, uh, I think, seven stages to this. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to play it for terribly much longer because um, I might just get distracted and just, uh, just want to play. Um, I'm going to link a more thorough video of me attempting to play it. Uh, and get past more than the first boss. See, look, look how easy this boss is. It's, it's really nothing of a boss. And that's first level. So, um, just to summarize, I think it's a, a fast paced, not super fast, uh, entry level shooter. It does get more complex as it goes along in terms of the waves and the bosses and yeah. And even though it's not cutting edge, I thought it was a great shooter and super macros. All right, that's round one. Episode 1. Should call them that. Yeah. Don't play the whole game. <laughs>